this is for the computer subject chapter 2 control panel first we will go with the introduction the CPU controls the various parts of the computer what is a CPU CPU is the central processing unit of your computer it is the brain of the computer which controls the whole computer system similarly Windows 7 has several features and softwares which controlled by the central controlling unit which is called control panel what is a control panel a control panel is a system folder using which we can change in the appearance of current settings of windows as the name suggests control is to manage and panel is the kind of dialog box so therefore control panel is a, a dialog box which controls the supervise controls the whole computer system it is utilized to make changes to assorted settings of the computer system you can also control most windows commands and features using the various options in control panel like in your mobiles you do various settings suppose you want to uh, increase the sound decrease the sound you want to open the bluetooth these all are under the settings you do this settings in your uh, mobiles like that in computers if you want to do various settings so you have to go to control panel to do this various settings now i will tell you how to open a control panel first go to start button then you can see there is a control panel click on the control panel this is the control panel dialog box the whole control panel is divided into eight categories the various uh, categories are system security network internet hardware and sound programs user accounts and family safety appearance and personalization clock language and region ease of access these categories uh, the default it is shown in the categories rest you can change the view that is in the large icons and the small icons as it is in the default view that is the category view we will also study with the help of category view only different eight categories in control panel first one is system and security it is used for setting the overall operations and security of the windows 7 it maintains the security of windows your operating system and your computer system next one is network and internet it is used for setting the interaction between various computers connected to your computer if you have any problem with the network internet if you want to connect to it if you want to do various settings you have to go to network and internet the next one is hardware and sound all the hardware and sound settings can be done here it is utilized to adjust settings of all hardware devices attached to your computers such as keyboard printer and mouse at the same time it is also utilized to control the sound settings of the computer the next one is programs it is used to install or uninstall programs on the computer next one is user accounts and family safety it is used to manage various users and store their preferred settings like if you want to add any account if you want to delete any account that all things can be done here next one is appearance if you want to change the desktop color uh, screen saver if you want to adjust the uh, visual effects of your computer that all things can be done under the appearance next one is clock language in region it is used to change the date and time and language settings of your computer and also to change the region where the computer is been used your location region means your location you can change the location next one is ss it is used by differently able users 
some of the inbuilt features are text to speech and there are users input options for changing date and time settings this is means uh, the disabled person can use the computer easily with the help of this op settings they can choose the setting as they want now we will see how to change date and time settings changing time zone then we will uh, see how to add clocks for different time zones and uh, updating system clock with internet time now we are going to learn how to change the date and time settings for changing it follow the steps that is first go to clock language and region after going to the clock language and region click on date and time to open the date and time dialog box now the third step is to click on the change date and time button to open the date and time settings dialog box which allows you to change date and time settings in your computer click on forward arrow and backward arrow to cho choose month and the year from here you can select the date click on upward and download arrow key to change the time of your computer after doing such click on okay to save the changes now we will see how to change the time zone to change the time zone again you have to go for date and time dialog box after going in the dialog box it's busy you have to wait for some time you can see here change time zone by clicking on it the time zone setting dialog box will open up which allows you to change the time zone of your computer system by clicking on the down arrow to open the time zone drop down list you can go here from the various option you can choose the suitable time zone of your region from this list and then click on after selecting it then click on okay now in this time uh, clock we can add additional clocks with the different time zones that is can you see the next tab additional clocks go there you can also view the current time of any two cities along with your home city to add different time zones follow the steps first of all select the check box i have already selected so i will enable it first select the check box you have to select this check box then you have to select the time zone already we have added about uh, this time zone so we will change the time zone and another one if you want to show the next second clock you can add the second clock with the different uh, uh, time zone we have added two clocks now to save the changes you have to go for apply and okay 
I have already applied so I will show you where is the clock where you can see the clock can you see this shows the Kolkata time zone this shows Auckland time zone and this shows the uh, Tokyo time zone from here you can change the name also clock 1 clock 2 whatever name you want then the next is internet time you can also set the internet time windows 7 allows also gives us an option to update your system clock automatically with an internet time server this option is available under the internet tab in the time dialog box this is what is the internet net time you, you, from here you can change the various settings uh, it will update automatically with the help of the internet time server